What's going on, fellas, gentlemen, ladies, cats, dogs, YouTubers, viewers? It's Big Sammy at y'all. Hey, um, I just wanted to show y'all something real quick. Uh, we got two more bikes here, right here. They was uh, by the yard, by the side of the uh, uh, road finds, which these were really good finds. Look at this. These tires still got the little nipples on them. I don't know if you can see them. I rode these a little bit just to make sure that they they work. I mean, you know, that they were uh, worth picking up. And, of course, they were worth picking up um, if I got them here anyways. Um, oh, let me see. Let me flip this one up here. So one's a girl's and one's a guy's. Like I said, they, you can tell that somebody's used them a little bit because if you look at them, like uh, little parts of them, like this is... This is old residue from when they when they uh, they used them, and you can see where this uh, tire this tire is a little bent, um, which we're going to try to straighten it up by adjusting these little these little nipples. Um, that'll be a whole different video, or if somebody wants to see that, you can just put a put a uh, you know a comment, and I'll show you how to do that um people are kind of throwing these old bikes out because i guess you know we have electric bikes these days and you know all kind of other stuff but it is what it is i'm, I'm glad they throw them out because anywhere else this would be a 150 200 bike <clears throat> anyways they're both 18 speeds from what i see um one's a girl's one's a guy's the guy the girl went over there um Anyways, like I said, I, I, I think I did another one where I showed you guys when you pick up a bike. I found another one that was in the, uh, was in the trash. Um, actually, I'll show you guys here where he's at. There's the other one there that was in the trash that I fixed up and I ride. That's my normal rider. Um, but I'm going to fix these up and give them to uh, the grandkids, mom and dad, so we can all ride together. You know get some exercises me being an old fella and um but i just want to go through like you know some of the things to look for and you know like because some people don't buy new stuff uh some people are like i do like i'd like to save money because right now you count one two uh that one we paid for and then of course the little blue one there we paid for but that one way in the corner there the orange mongoose this blue one here, the mountain bike, and then these two were all used ones that I found on the side of the road or I bought for a little bit of nothing. Somebody was trying to either give them away or just like get $10, $20 for them. So um, anyways, if you go that route, um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things that I do. And, uh, you know, you can also take them to a bike shop if you got a bike shop local. Uh, they'll, they'll pretty much go through the same stuff that I go through. But it's just like a used car or anything else that you get on uh, onto. More like a motorcycle, actually. Um, you want to make sure that everything's working. First of all, what I do is I, I I more or less look at the rims, look at the tires, make sure the tires are pretty pretty straight, like they're not they're not cracked or or uh, you know they won't have no issues where they're wobbling. Um, and then if they're wobbling, you check you check all your nuts and fasteners and washers and stuff like that make sure all that stuff works um, if it's adjustable speed bike like these ones here being 18 speed you check these wires make sure these wires are connected um, <clears throat> and as far as uh oil in them after you check all that stuff out which which i'll show you guys one more time before i lose track of what i'm doing you want to check this out if it's got a front suspension check these out kind of push on them make sure the front suspension is not just kind of like not uh not working if it's got a back suspension which these are what they call a hard frame so they don't have no back suspension um this one this one here i'll show you guys a a, a back suspension real quick my god we got a lot of trash not trash but junk in here uh might as well open this up so you see a little bit better but yeah this is the other trash bike that i found junk bike well it's not junk but you know like i said that's got a back suspension and it's got a front suspension like these so these got a a, a rigid frame if you will um but anyways there's my son right there hello son 
so, so what you do is you uh you go ahead and you're gonna do is you're gonna lube this chain get you some uh three in one oil let's see i'll show you real quick this is what i use it's a three in one multi-purpose long lasting um right there it does bikes drills you know locks and all that stuff i use that for almost everything so what i'll do is i'll uh you know rotate this rotate this here with the chain and i'll put my my little uh oil um bottle on there and i'll get it all on the chain you see i've already done it um i'll show you real quick for some people that may need help figuring this out so you just place it right here and then rotate your chain and what it does is it uh, delivers deposits that oil onto the chain um, also after you're done doing the chain there's a few points anything that moves like even the pedals um, I, I do the pedals what I'll do is I'll flip the bike on the side and I'll put because uh, there's bearings in here too you put some oil on that in those in those and then that makes your uh, pedals run free but let's flip her on the side so there's bearings in here on both sides and what I'll do is I'll flip them over there I'll put some juice in there like that just to kind of see it seeping in this is your sprocket right here your sprocket area or your main drive whatever have you put some oil in there let it seep right in see how it's seeping in be it be liberal or generous about it you see i'll put it right there this one doesn't uh, turn as good as the other one uh that one over there so i'm i'm lubing it up a little bit more uh like i said a kickstand i'll put a, a squirt or so on the kickstand kickstand and then kind of move it like i said when they've been sitting up or they've been sitting out these ones here look like they've been out on out on the uh just barely out on the uh side of the road for like maybe maybe they got wet one time but um they haven't been outside very long uh put a little little oil right in there so as you guys can see it's dripping on that side and if you get a little bit too much on things, it's okay because you can always wipe it off. All it's going to do is gather dirt, which is not good, but um, you can always wipe it off. Um, but what you want to do is like a bike that's been sitting up, um, even if you don't ride your bikes very often, you want to uh, you want to kind of lube them up every season. I, I mean, that's what I do. And that keeps you from having to replace parts. Um so you let that one sit let's go over here and do this one so we have it on that side oh yeah there's another little spot right here there's a bearing in here when you turn the tire put one there put my bottle down and i'll show you guys how to inspect the shocks so this is what i did when i first picked up the the bike or first looked at it it had flat tires of course but you more or less just take it and you push it up and down like this in the front make sure that shock works really good all right well that's about it fellas i appreciate y'all coming by if y'all got a bike if you're a mountain mountain bike kind of guy or if you got like those really expensive ones that are a few thousand dollars hey man drop us a comment leave us a Leave us a comment. Uh, let us know what you ride. Let us know how you work on your stuff. All right. We appreciate y'all. Big Sammy. Peace.